Hello again people and welcome back to another part of Subnautica. We are here today with part 10 and we will be looking for magnetite I believe is how it's pronounced because 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 we need this we need the scanner room hood chip and I've had a little scout around and I've found a cave um, and I've gone out beforehand to save time where the hell am I going? Uh, oh wrong way uh, yeah this will be a prime example to show you actually I've gone out beforehand and I've had a look over yonder there and I've placed a beacon down coloured it gold so I know which one it is and it looks like a purplish cave that goes quite deep so I'm thinking if I can't find the magnetite anywhere on the surface level it's probably going to be deeper um, so we've also <laughs> we've also added signs because I keep going the wrong damn way so crops and bedroom this way seamoth that way so I'm going to come over here I'm going to quickly show you what we did to the bedroom um, we added the picture frame and we added that picture that we did on the island I think it looks pretty snazzy actually um, we changed around a bit, we added a window, we added a desk, a little chair, command chair, so we can have a little sit and stare at the window when we're bored or just thinking of shit to do. Everybody loves the RP. Um, we added another one there, just a little, you know, the initial seam off. Moved a couple of the shelves around and the like, uh, and yeah, that was pretty much it. Um, but what we're going to be doing now is we're going to go, be going to head to the seamoth and go over to that beacon and check out that cave because in the last step we found the um, what's it called didn't we we found the depth module so we can go 300 now so I'm going to be going deeper and I'm going to be looking for um, magnetite and this is a cave entrance to go deeper as far as I'm aware um, and hopefully it'll yield different resources uh, that's the plan anyway if it doesn't we may find something else we may find a couple of wrecks maybe new creatures maybe some leviathans I don't know I haven't been in here I wanted to save the initial um, reaction to entering that place uh, for the video on the off chance that we end up you know running into something that's beasty and scary and yeah I don't want that to be missed initial reactions and all that put my lights on it's going a bit dark and excuse me a second <coughs> um, but yeah it's not too far it's literally the opposite end of the base I think it was initially in the red biome we started off in um, but the beacons are brilliant for placing landmarks down that you can just keep coming back to and I called it purple cave entrance because when you look down there's loads of pinky purple lights on the top of here without the lights on look it looks like a nice purple and it goes pretty damn deep so what we're going to do is we're going to make our way down here and we're going to see what's down here for us to find and hopefully it doesn't go lower than 300 because if it does we're screwed it can only go 300 um, oof. Okay. Oh, we got a bit of we got a bit of lootables here. I think there's a data pad on that. Look. Grab that. Environment lock. Oh my God! There's snakes to our top right. I think. Uh. Easy pull toggle. Signal uploaded to PD. Will you get that bloody text off so I can actually read? Oh my god, man. The conditions in this cave support a microcosm of unique, possibly predatory life forms. Detecting an artificial so structure somewhere in the region. A structure in the region, right. There was a lot of information for us to grab there. Um, but I was too busy reading while she was too busy talking over me. What the hell is that? <coughs> I'm assuming that's aggressive. It looks it. Where did it go? Uh, it's filth. 
Are we gonna die if we get out of here? And what the hell is that behind that? Right, we look safe. Let's have a look. Uh, med kit. Don't mind if I do. Um, anything in here? No. Well, that's bloody useful, isn't it? Oh my god, he's coming. He's coming. Where's the moth? Where's the moth? Get in the moth. Go away. My god, that thing is huge. Go away. Oh, they're going the... Oh, they're going the things, look. Is he coming for me? I better disappear, demon. No, he looks passive. Right, okay. If he's passive, I'm going to get out and have a look at this rock. What's that? Magnetite. Especially... Oh, bloody hell. That's typical, isn't it? Specialist equipment. What's this? Shale. We'll always take shale. This. Oh, that's magnetite. Brilliant. Right, that's what we need. That's what we need. So we've found one. Right next to the big one. That we can't actually do anything with. Because we haven't made the prawn yet. Uh, I think something just bit me. Go away. Git. Git, 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 git. There's a hole down here. Let's lose him in here. Is that... I think that's more. It is. Oh, he's following us. Mate, they hit really hard. 65 HP on my moth. Right, let's go over here. And let's... Oh, dear. Did we just make a big boo-boo? Looks like there's nodes firing up through all that. Uh, repair tool. No, not the bloody storage. Get in the damn thing. Is that going to kill us if we go near that? There's stuff being skyrocketed out of it, look. Maybe we just can't harvest that stuff then. Never mind. Okay, so we found some magnetite, so we know that magnetite is in this, uh, what's this here now? Gold. We definitely need the prawn suit. We'll be getting a lot more, I would have thought, but my thought process, there's another one, my thought process behind this is if we get the scanner room hood chip, we should be able to... Uh, find nodes a lot easier for crafting so then when we're on a video and we're looking for something maybe we will be able to find things a lot quicker for you so we haven't got to do everything off camera I mean most of you probably won't even want to watch me doing the bloody farm but if I can if I'm say just like missing one thing and we can use the scanner room to get it right on on the on the video then that may prove more useful so everybody can see exactly what I'm doing. I mean, I've had a bit of a farm today because all of those signs that I've put up cost me copper wire and I've got no copper and <coughs> I made sure that I did all that before the video. Um, the picture frames cost me the same, it was also um, copper wire and the like. So yeah, while we're down here, we're going to get an absolute shit ton of this, as much as we can carry. Because then we haven't got to come back down, have we? We're going to store some in here in case I die as well. we'll store all the precious stuff in there. Lithium's not particularly precious, I don't think. I always see lithium. We can get lithium on the surface, in fact. Ouch. Ouch. What's going on? Oh my god, there's a green one. Go away. Go away. That, well, there's lithium as well. I see those on the surface. I think that may be the same gold node we just saw. Okay. I like this biome. This biome's pretty cool. Uh, where are we going now? Right, that's out. We don't want to go out. We haven't really explored anything. Um, let's see if we can find some more magnetite. And I swear she just said there's a structure as well down here somewhere. If there's a structure, I want to find it. 
definitely want to find it. Doesn't look to be up there, so maybe over there. That is the polar opposite way from the way we came in. What the hell is that noise? I really hope that's them. Yeah, it goes deeper here, look. Let's go deeper. We're getting quite close to that 300 meters though. Oh! I swear I've got no spatial awareness in the slightest, have I? Mm. Right, I want to test this. I want to test see if it dies. Oh, don't die. Oh my god, look at the temperature. Oh my god. No, apparently it doesn't kill us, but it makes us very bloody hot. Ooh. That was a very silly thing to do, but at least now we know for the future we can actually do that in an emergency. <coughs> hmm. Where would this be, this building be, this this structure, this is it gonna be alien? Is it gonna be uh survivors, maybe? That's if we can find the damn thing. Where is it? Right, so we've we've already been here. That's that's that place over there. So let's go over there. It may just go into a big circle, hadn't it, for all I know, I don't know. Hmm. Let's have a little look around. It's a pretty big biome by the looks of it. It doesn't seem to go anywhere though, thankfully. So we can just look around until we find something. Hmm. Another little trench down there. 226 meters. Oh, here we go, here we go. There is a box there. Oh, I want that box. I've just killed the fish. Sorry, fish. You will stay in the damn way, though. <laughs> that noise gives me the jeebs, man. I don't like that noise. It's like something howling for you. Ugh, vile. Maybe they won't come for me if I keep away from those big... I don't know what you call them. Mushrooms? Jellyfish? Jelly... Oh, hello! Oh, it was marked on the stupid bloody map. What an idiot. I didn't even look. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Right, 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 right. Let's have a look. Let's see if the coast is clear, which it doesn't look like it is, because he's spazzing out. And let's park up. There's a couple of fragments there and there, look. Let's turn those off. Let's get the scanner on. Let's see what it is. Thermal plant fragment. Ooh, thermal plant. That's pretty tasty. One of two, please be the second one. Power cell charger fragment. Power cell charger. What would we need that for? We've got a, a moon pool. What was that scan in there? Our plant. I hope we've brought water. Because if we haven't, we're pretty much screwed now. Hmm. What's in there? Stasis rifle fragment. I think that's the last one we need. We found the other one on the island. Yeah, it was the last one we needed. Right. PDA. The Garcia voice log. Pecking order. Right, let's, let's see if there's any more. And then we'll listen to them all in order. Because we did that last time and listened to them in the wrong order. There's number one. Water filtration. Tasty. We'll take that. That may help us out quite a fair whack. I mean, yeah, I know at home we've got marble melon for water and food. But, what about when we go out? Another PDA in there. Um... In there. New PDA data. Another one on there. Thank you. Integrating new PDA uh, data. Was that it? I think that was it. If we go up there, we're probably going to die. Let's go and get some O2 and we'll come back in to see if we've missed anything because I don't want to rush it. No, let's bring the uh, let's bring the moth over. And let's get out. 
Right, we got out too. Right, let's have a proper look in this room. Is that everything? It looks to be everything. Okay, so that's room one cleared. Let's look up this hallway. Window, window, nothing. Right, okay, let's go up. Up, please. Right, okay. And another log. Bark toggle. Stalker teeth. Okay, okay. I think that was everything then. So we got a water treatment plant. And we got... Was that it? We would get water treatment plant and that was... Ouch! What the hell? Bloody hell, man. That nearly killed me. Oh, my health's regening. Wicked. I didn't even know it did regen. That hurts quite a bit, though. Ooh. He says as he nearly goes face first into another one. Mm, yeah, that looks like that was it. And I swear she just said she uploaded something into our PDA as well. Another location, I believe. Uh, was there anything else to scan? What's that? Stasis rifle fragment? We've already got that. So I don't want to cram my inventory up with titanium currently. Let's have a little look. Magnetite, don't mind if I do. Hmm. I think that was it. Oh, that's a shame. I mean, we got we got the water filtration, but now we know there's power cell chargers. I was really hoping for another one of those. Okay, 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 chill. Did we get any water? Have we got any water at all? No, we didn't bring any water. Right, we're a complete moron. Because now we're gonna have to we're gonna have to go back. Hmm. Okay, 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 I'm going. Jesus. Oof, that bloody thing really doesn't like me, does it? Did we get a new LifePod 12 camera? LifePod 13. Proposed to Garcia Habitat. A thousand meters that way. 500 meters down. Huh. Okay. So it's leading us to all the different habitat locations then now, because when we find another one, it's taking us to the next one. So I believe we may go and check that out in the next part. We may. We may build a prawn though. I'll have to have a look what it costs. Ouch. I'll have to have a look what it costs. And have a look. Oh shit, I didn't listen to the logs either, did I? Right, well we're on with the way back then. Instead of me talking your head off, we'll leave those logs play and we'll see if anybody's got anything decent to say. My god, I am terrible at controlling this bloody ship. Uh, where's out? Out's over there. Right, okay. Yeah, on now, on now. Let's play the data logs. We need this world. Bart Toggle's log number one and stalker teeth I don't think it was those we need dilemma pecking order and deeper let's just do this one shit didn't click it you know what Maida told me today she wants to build a habitat 500 meters below sea level more than a kilometer northeast of here and she needs Bart and I to do it She's got it into her head that she can save us if she just acts recklessly enough. But I've hauled Star Wars to Neptune, Plasteel to the Federation. Shit. This family operates nine different mining colonies across the Ariadne arm. Maida thinks she's better suited to lead. Her contract still says otherwise. But I just cannot damn well tell whether it's the stupidest idea I ever heard. Or my only hope. I turned 80 years old last week. I thought I had another 80 in me, but marooned on this planet, there's no swapping out of my liver when the old one fails. Here, I'm mortal. And Maida is useful. So, it's my responsibility to make a decision. Return to the island and hope whatever not that the Ghazi out of the sky won't do the same to the rescue ship. Or take us deeper in search of answers. 
And all the while be hoping old age gets me before the sea monsters do. I'll give Maida just one thing. She was right about these caves. There's enough lithium there to fabricate a hundred tons of plasteel. Enough for a damn fleet of Cyclops submarines. There was nothing anyone could have done to avoid crashing here. But I was right to order the detour. If we get off this planet, they'll be talking about the Torgel share price on the other side of the Federation. <laughs> Interesting. Right, so he's reckoning that we need to go deeper. Well, she is. He's questioning it to get some answers or wait on the island and have another rescue ship get blown out of the air well we already know the answer to that don't we we need to go deeper because our rescue ship did get blown out of the air so yeah we are definitely going deeper I'm going to follow that other habitat location after we get some food and drink I also need to empty the storage of the magnetoid before I forget so we got quite a fair whack there actually, so that was quite, that was worth it a bit. Seek fluid intake I know, I'm going. One, two, three, oh shit. Let's eat six Vital and cut two. There we go, there's six, and then we use the blade to cut two. There's one. And two. I love those crops. They're so bloody helpful. Um, what was I doing? Oh, what, 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 I forget. Oh, oh more more audio log. I think there was another one, wasn't there? Uh, we listened to Dilemma. Uh, pecking order. Son, there is always a pecking order, and in our world, money makes a hierarchy. I pay Maida a fraction of what I pay you, and you a fraction of what I pay me. Huh. If money makes the hierarchy, why is Marguerite making the decisions? We need her. We let her think what she likes, so long as she does what she's told. What if she doesn't? For enough money, she will. People always do. It's all about the money, in it, kids? Money, 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 money. I wonder how much money is going to be worth to you when you're rotting. Uh, streams data from the scanner room to the HUD. Right, so we've got this HUD upgrade chip now. And let's say, for example, we want to go and grab us some... I don't know. Uh, let's say quartz. Let's test the quartz. Right, now. Let's see if it appears on our HUD. Nothing yet. Has it found anything? It's found something there, so why isn't it on my screen? Do I need to go outside? Oh, hang on. Oh, it does as well. Oh, that is perfect. That's exactly what I thought it was going to be. Circles. Orange circles. Yeah, oh, look, there's another one. Alright, brilliant. That is draining the shit out of the power though. So what I'm going to do then, now we know that's working and it's in our uh, suit, we are going to be creating, we don't need camera drones, so we need copper ore times two, and silver ore times two, and a gold ore times one. And we're going to put two range upgrades in that and two speed upgrades in that. And we're going to try and double up and hopefully they'll stack. What did I say? Gold, two silver, uh, and a copper, and we got the magnetite on us. Right, I think that was it. That should enable us to make our scanner room the quickest and longest it can possibly be. Gotta craft them first, mate. There you go. There's one. I didn't grab another copper or did I? I assumed I had one on me. Dick. Right, so we can put all that in there. One, two, three. Yeah, one more. So we need one copper ore. And then the room is maxed out, I believe. 
and we can put all this magnetite away as well because we only needed it for that hood chip currently as far as I am aware wait no we didn't we needed it for that didn't we I forget me bloody head if it wasn't screwed on I'll tell you there we go ah. and one more range upgrade really hope these stack it doesn't say they don't so I'm assuming they do right fully maxed out oh yeah that has definitely increased the range look at the size of the damn map now it's even got cave systems look and it goes all the way down somewhere look at that down there all there right, that's that's phenomenal right um, let's see with the same test if it's quicker to populate Hear my dog just clippy cloppy just walking on the laminate right one two that seemed to populate quicker I guess don't know though we'll leave that sit for a bit we'll go and grab some glass because I've just seen something that I want to do and that is with regard to the scanner room I want a window in it because it looks a bit bare at the moment and I assume that black grey piece on the wall over there should enable us to put a window in it uh, well it clicks off yeah it does but it's a bit ugh. maybe it's because it's dark I don't know it might be night time Ooh, now we're populating now we're talking look at this Oh, that's phenomenal. Let's go outside and have a quick look to see how that actually works. Oh, yeah. That's what we want. And does it take us right to the stuff? Let's have a quick look. Closest node. Is it going to be on it or near it? No, it is literally on it. It is touching it, look. That is brilliant. And it disappears when you pick it up. That is going to make farming so much more easier. Brilliant. Ouch! Do you mind? Bloody tiger plant thing. Anyway. Right, that's the scanner room for you then, people. Brilliant. We finally got the hood chip and we got some magnetite. So, I'm going to call that there. So this is the Magnetoy episode. We now know where that's going to be. Uh, we played a couple of audio logs. We'll probably get into the rest of the audio logs on the next step. But we're just going to play this message. This is Life Pod 7. Coordinates attached. Pod is structurally sound, but the fabricators bust. Requesting assistance. Seven out. Right. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission we origin recorded to date to bank. We really need to save some power at the night time because we've only got the uh, bioreactor currently for the power. So turn that off, let the power recharge until daytime. We've now got another life pod to go and search for as well, so we need to clear those off the list, I think. Um, I'll have a look and see what um, I can do. I'll probably do a bit of farming actually between these parts um, and probably try and build the prawn for the next video uh, in part. Would that be 11? Yeah, that would be 11. Um, yeah, so thank you all again. Hopefully this was helpful to you if you haven't played it before. And if you enjoyed it, please leave a comment, leave a like, and if you haven't already, subscribe. I have never, ever, ever said that before, and I probably won't again. <laughs> Cheers, peeps. Catch you soon. Ta-ra.